Hey there! So today's look is inspired by one of my gaming friends again. <laughs> this is like the third video I have done inspired by a gaming friend of mine. Um, uh, my gaming friend Ely is a artist. Paintings and emanation and all of that sort of stuff. They are amazing at it. And And the other day they did a drawing, painting, painting of a night elf, uh, a special character of hers, a special character of theirs, and I adore this painting. It's the colours are very me. I love it. It's stunning. And because of this, I've I felt so inspired I had to do a, a look after it so I asked them and Ely said it was fine so I will have all links to Ely's everything in the description box please 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 go have a look but this is what I came up with the prominent colours in the painting are purples and greys and there's a pop of blue that's what I did. You will see in the video I do, I say I'm going off to do my hair and I try markings and I fail miserably so I come back uh, without markings. Markings are good for cosplay, they're not good for messing our thing around with makeup. Anyway, I think that's enough of me rambling as per normal. So, let's right. get started. I have done my brows. Uh, primer lids, so we're going to start off with a base. Um, I'm not sure what colour base to use. I'm going to go for the Maybelline Colour Tattoo in Timeless Black. I don't want much, and then just a wash of grey. Next up I'm going to use next up I'm going to use the sleek enchanted forest palette and I'm going to use glass slipper which is an off cream colour which is my blending colour now I'm going to use thunder which is a grey from the sleek ultra matte 2 palette and this is my crease colour. And I'm going to use a brush from Daniel Sandblood, which is just a flat shader brush, and this is my lip colour. Okay, that's on, but what I also did, because the purple was not coming out strong enough, is I used the Sleek Matte V2 palette again and I used the purple here. And then I used the Sleek Enchanted Forest palette and I used the purple there. And I put both of them on top of the first purple I put on with my own fingers and then just blended out because I was just not getting quite the right colour I wanted <laughs> okay now I'm going to use the black from the matte v2 palette which is noir like all sleep blacks and this is just going in the outer corner and in but I don't want to overdo it And then blind up. Of well, that took me a lot longer than I thought it was going to. <laughs> Putting the black on turned into a blending massacre, but there we go. Just getting all the eyeshadow off my hands, and now we're going to do the same under the eye. Okay, Catherine, stop blending! <laughs> I swear, if I could, I'd sit here and I just blend and I blend and I blend and I blend and I. Anyway 
quite sure how I'm going to do the under eye yet. Uh, so. Put the blending brush down. Oh my I'm god. I'm going to line the, the lower lash line with the Max Factor Colour Perfection Eyeliner in. Wow. Ice blue. And what the sound you can hear is my cat who thinks my bed is a scratching post. Well, it's one of my cats. It's Annie today. Annie! What are you doing? Now I'm going to use the sleek Car uh, Caribbean palette that I can never pronounce and I'm going to use that bright ass blue over here called Blue Lagoon. 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 I love the sound, the, I love the word Lagoon but I can't say Lagoon. And if you're wondering where the bright pop of blue comes from in the picture, her she's got a couple of stones, crystals in her armour bit sort of on her chest and they're bright 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 English blue. Next I'm gonna use a white pencil. This is from Inner Masca, it's one of their colouring pencils. And I think it's an elite, is it? Elite. And yeah, I've had this a very long time. Because if you've seen the in the mask of colouring pencils, they're really big and mine are tiny now. And for the inner corner, I'm going to use the makeup. Uh, I heart makeup. Makeup Geek palette, and I'm going to use this bright shimmery lilac down here. Next, we're going to do liner. I'm going to use the NYC liquid liner in black. Why did I question myself with what colour that was so much? Doesn't seem like. No, that's the wrong one. Right. Okay, <laughs> do I have a look? This is the shadow done. I'm now going to do disappearing act. I'm going to put mascara and eyelashes on and I'm back when I've done that. See you in a minute. Okay, lashes are on. Uh, mascara is on. So, what is with this today? I don't know. Anyway. Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. Yeah, right. Anyway, on it goes. Why well, didn't... Oh, well. <laughs> I've just got some of my eyelashes. I'm doing really well. My overall thought for the skin is my idea of an elf, especially a Warcraft elf, very ethereal and to me that would mean very perfect skin but very luminous skin and very glowy skin. So I'm going to use the foundation I can never pronounce mixed with Mac Factor Lasting Performance. And I'm using the tart the blended brush. Next concealer wand just on not quite perfect areas. Now I'm gonna use the Miss Beauty liquid concealer in one. And this is also gonna be going down my nose. In this part of the jaw, so under where you contour, and then the 
Yeet, 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 yeet. <laughs> Anyone else hate the sound that concealer makes? And under the eyes. And you know the drill. Now I'm going to use the MUA Skin Define Hydro Powder. And this will be to set what we just did. So down the bridge on the nose. Under the eyes. Jawbone. Chin. And I think a bit more under the eyes. And this is what I'm classing as baking for me now. Because I'm not normally a baker in this sense. I've been doing it with the hydro powder lately. I quite like it, why not? And it, this look, as I said earlier, it's very... Uh, Feels like it calls for it. So I am looking for a lot of things, but I had to find something. Come on, where would you? I had to find something, and I have found it. It is the Inamesca Hollow Pigment. I'm sure you remember this coming out when we do big contour like this. So, it goes in the contour areas, and obviously normally I do this before putting any powder on my face. Didn't fully think that through, so. Not very accurate with it though, because then I'm going to take the Real Techniques Multitask Brush, the same powder, and buff it all out. Now I'm going to powder contour and I'm going to use my contour brush from Real Techniques and my Makeup Gallery Colour Story eyeshadow in Cappuccino. Blush next, we're using Makeup Revolution Vivid Bait Blush in One for Playing Games. Now I'm going to use Makeup Revolution Vivid Bait Highlighter in Pink Lights. And I can, you know, this is going to be a look where there is no such thing as too much highlighter. I am trying to decide if I should do her face markings or not. Right, I'm going to disappear, I'm going to do my hair quickly and I'll be back for the lips. See you in a minute. I always have to go just that little bit too far, don't I? Basically, um, I when I went to go do my hair, I thought maybe try out Night Elf markings like the ones that she has. If I was cosplaying as an night elf, then yes, this is a look inspired of a by a painting of by a painting of the night elf. It looks silly. So now I have sorted out this. I only did it on this side. Sorted out this side again. We can do the lips. So I have tested this out, and basically I'm using three lipsticks. I'm going to start off with Makeup Revolution uh, Unicorns Unite Lipstick in Throne. Now I'm going to go on with Unicorns Unite Lipstick in Legend.
And finally, you uh, make a revolution lipstick in Deprived. And this is more careful, so. And there we go. That is my look inspired by painting of a night elf by my friend Illy. They do wonderful paintings and you should definitely check them out. I will put all links in the description. Um, they do brilliant uh, paintings and she is currently in uni for animation and yeah I can't say it. All that type of thing. They are so good so please go check them out. As I said this was inspired by the a painting that she did the colors I loved an awful lot and I just loved the paint I loved the painting so yeah uh, close up obviously oh I did bring the blue out because I bought the blue out from the markings and I thought it looked okay so I left that anyway I hope you enjoyed this look I hope you especially do daily and until next time just believe bye